What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. And no, I'm not joking. That is literally what's happening. We have a crossover between Dead Space and Battlefield. If someone told me five years ago that one day Dead Space and Battlefield are going to have a crossover, I would never believe them. But since this is 2024 and some interesting things happen, this is one of those interesting things that is going to happen. And yeah, we have a time limited event after I would say a few weeks of silence. And this event is going to be called the Outbreak. It looks like ghosts are coming back into the game. The last time we saw them, it was an event in the mid season of season six uh, in the map redacted, I believe. I don't even remember the event's name, believe it or not. But all I know is that people didn't like it first because it wasn't the best of events. The game mode was just lame and I would say boring. And second, it was paired with a lot of issues in that event. So the feedback wasn't so good. But apparently DICE does not want to let go of this already dead zombie robot scenario. And we have a new event with a new bundle and some new free rewards that we are going to get from July 9th until July 16th. Also, we have the update 7.4, which is going to come out in the exact date, July 9th. And with that update, there will be a lot of changes to so some of the vehicles. Uh, for example, the Nightbird is going to get a lot of balancing changes. I am going to call those changes some nerfs. Uh, because that's what they really are. But DICE wants to call them the balancing changes and stuff. We will also have a persistent reload timer on straw and TGM rockets. That is going to apparently prevent people from exploiting them somehow. And we've also got some changes to the XFAT Draugr. And more importantly, we have some changes to straw. And I would say the straw gets buffed in this update. There is a lot of good changes that we are going to get to in just a few seconds. But before we get into the video and talk about the event first and then the update, if you guys enjoy the content, if you find this video helpful, do make sure to hit the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel because it only takes one click and you will be notified every single time a video goes live and you won't miss out on the future ones. So let's get started. So Outbreak is a PvE event. We have a squad of four which goes against a horde or multiple hordes of Geists as the motto of the event is hold the horde. There's also a small trailer, I would say a small teaser, where Isaac Clarke, the protagonist of Dead Space series, somehow finds himself in Boreas' lab with Crawford and Falk and starts killing geists instead of alien mutated creatures, which is something very interesting, but, you know, it is what it is. So apparently we start from the west side of Redacted and we push forward. We have waves of geists coming our way and every player has one life for every single wave, which means that if even one person of that squad survives that round, that wave, let's say, the people who are dead can spawn for the next wave. And in the eastern side, there's some extraction elevator that you're going to get in and things are going to get done. So it's kind of an extraction shooter happening in Redacted and you're facing hordes of geists. So that's basically what's going to happen with the event. There's also new free rewards. We have a weapon charm, a weapon skin, and a player background and a player tag. Those things are apparently for free. And we have a new bundle with a legendary specialist outfit and legendary weapon skins and more. So that's all this event, this time limited event is about. However, July 9th is going to be the day of launch for the update 7.4, which is another quality of life update for Battlefield 2042. And there's a small patch note for it. And I believe most of the things in this patch note do not matter. Like there are just small quality of life changes, but there are some balancing changes to some of the weapons and some of the vehicles that in my opinion are very important and we're going to go through them one by one and also everything that just a little bit matters to players in this patch. Note. So let's get to the patch note then. All right, so starting off, we're going to start with straw. We have heard your feedback about the straw. We agree that this newly added rocket launcher is not up to par with the rest of its weapon class. With update 7.4, we are enacting the following changes, which we believe will help to bring the straw into a more viable and attractive option. Lower the zoom and increase the field of view when players are aiming down sight with the straw for better visibility of targets, both for close and for the ranges. So this is really one of the things that straw really needed because that six times zoom was just more than enough, more than ever needed for a rocket launcher in Battlefield. Additionally, we have removed the in-world icon of the missile and also reduced the audio cue for the missile quite significantly. This should result in the straw being much more difficult to hear as an incoming missile before it is too close. 
So that's also interesting. Uh, it's going to make Straw even stealthy now. And you're not going to see those Straw missiles flying above you with the red icon going with them. Which was literally just something ridiculous to begin with. But I don't know. It was someone's idea. Didn't work out. And they're now going to fix it. Also, we've got persistent reloading on Straw and TGM rockets. Update 7.4 will bring in a persistent reload timer on the Straw and TGM. This move is to prevent an exploitative loop that would allow a large number of rockets to take place and fresh supplies waiting upon redeployment. We believe this does not bring anything healthy to the game when used at this level and as a preventative measure, the reload timer will now persist through death. If a player dies from normal circumstances, this effect will be nullified and players will spawn with a normal ammo count. However, methods such as manually redeploying will result in the persistent reload taking effect. So apparently some people started exploiting TGM and Straw by firing all the rockets and then redeploying and do it all again. Now this persistent reload thing somehow uh, prevents them from doing that, which is something nice. We don't really want any exploits like that in the game, but uh, I do believe it wasn't something very important and let's just move on. Moving on, we have the Nightbird Balance Pass. I have no idea why they call it like that. Following the recent changes to attack helicopters a few seasons ago, we are bringing in similar changes to the Nightbird to achieve further consistency with other helicopters and balancing. In the past, we have made some changes to the Nightbird in order to bring it in line with other vehicles. However, this aircraft had traditionally been more powerful and stayed higher than we were comfortable with. The flying characteristics will change with the Nightbird, resulting in it being more in line with our other attack helicopters. This aircraft will now feel heavier and hinge upon more momentum-based control following the changes to attack helicopters in the past. We want pilots to feel like they are flying an actual physical entity over a lightweight vehicle that is overly responsible and twitchy. So yeah, the Nightbird movement has always been ridiculously fast in Battlefield 2042. It has always been, regardless of the nerves, and apparently they are trying to make the aircraft a bit heavier. That's gonna just slow it down a bit. However, let's take a look at the changes for the Nightbird. Uh, significantly lowered the auto-leveling of the Nightbird when using forward input. Tweaked the inertia tensors to make sure the vehicle feels heavier and less twitchy. Reducing the pendulation effect of the helicopter when swinging left and right on the X-axis. Nightbird will now gain a slight increase in speed when nosing downwards, which comes from being heavier. Tweak the third-person camera with a focus on it now being lower and closer to the vehicle in order to feel more connected to it. I do believe it somehow uh, messes with the field of view. I'm not sure, but I just do feel like that it's going to mess with that just a bit. And one AGM is now removed from the Nightbird as it is no longer required for this vehicle to be a potent anti-vehicle helicopter. So they are completely throwing the anti-vehicle helicopter to the attack helicopters a nightbird is not a potent anti-vehicle helicopter anymore now these were the important changes but there are some other changes in the change log that i do believe it is worth noting and we're going to go over one by one also the link to this patch note is down in the description if you want to read the whole thing it'll be there and you can go and check it out yourself but we've got the most important things and let's go to the change log hover bike which is also a name for the pond hawk now gets destroyed with one aa lock-on shots such as stingers or other vehicle anti-air weaponry so that's just going to ruin the day for people who take a pond hawk in the early game and get themselves to the other team's base and start harassing them if only one person has some kind of an aa missile in their arsenal that's gonna ruin their day and it, i do believe it's a good change having two missiles for a pond hawk to be taken down is just overkill it's not worth it really also the pond hawk's height limit is now lowered by 100 meters the magnetic effect of the pond hawk when near the ground is now lowered for the 25mm cannon damage of jets versus infantry, that number is now decreased from 40 to 25. So the 25mm cannon on jets is now significantly nerfed against infantry. And that's all for the important changes that this update comes with. We have update 7.4, which is a quality of life update, and we have a new time limited event called Outbreak, which is a crossover between Battlefield and Dead Space. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. I want to know what you think about this whole thing in the comment section. Do you really believe that Outbreak is going to be anything different from the previous event uh, where guests were the like zombie-like robots? Or it's just going to be another boring event that people only play for the rewards and then leave it for good? 
Also, if there's any changes in the patch note that you have anything to say about it, the comment section is the place for you. So go down there and let me know what's on your mind. We'll have a discussion down there and we'll see how things go. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, stay cool.